Moment of truth. I never thought this day was gonna come when this would be the new color. This, I am so excited for. I have the new distress color right here. I'm so excited to see what it is. I cannot wait. The anticipation was supposed to be here a few days ago. It is now Friday, the day before the release. So hopefully I get something done. Yeah, let's see what it is. Let's get to this. Okay. Moment of truth. I never thought this day was gonna come when this would be the new color but it's here. It is a brand new purple. Villainous Potion. This, I am so excited for. Let's get into it. Out. Don't need that anymore. In this video, I'm basically just swatching the colors out. I am swiping the inks onto some cardstock. I wanted a concentrated look because I'm going to add some water splatters just to see how it would react to water and the wicking is beautiful. Now I'm going to take a stamp and stamp out the inks. Nothing too exciting here, but I wanted to see how they would look. The right is oxide and the left is distress. Now I'm going to use some sprays, first the oxide and next the spray stain. I am using Ranger Heavy Stock for my paper in this video, just in case you were wondering. And all of the supplies will be linked down below. I'm going to use a little bit of water to get that color moving around. And as you could see, this purple is gorgeous. I am going to make a quick background with oxide sprays on the heavy stock. The first color was Villainous Potion, next color was Wilted Violet, and then Seedless Preserves. I added a little bit of water again to make that color move around. Next, I am going to add some water splatters to get that color oxidizing. And then I'm going to pick it up with a paper towel and the background turned out so gorgeous. I definitely had fun playing with the new color and I am so obsessed, but I wanna know if you are a fan of purple. Let me know in the comments below. But if you are looking for more techniques using distress sprays, be sure to check out the video right here where I share five creative ways to use sprays. I also would love to connect with you over on Instagram and I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later.